This morning, we welcome the presence of the Almighty Father in Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Actually, they all welcome us before we welcome them. They're already here. And I believe that God's going to move powerfully this morning. Amen? Because this is a perfect morning for everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I ask the Lord, Lord, are we going to do our communion? And I'm trying to fix my eyeglass, and suddenly I freak my finger, and blood comes out. It's the communion of the blood. Amen? Of Jesus. So this morning, I believe there's so many testimonies, but we're going to hear those testimonies right after I preach. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. This is our communion, first communion on January 2023. Amen? For those of you who are in the virtual, I encourage you to come. If you come, you can partake the communion live. Okay. So, when we talk about communion, we talk about the blood. Amen? And it is so powerful because we're going to be talking about the blood of the great I am, the son of the living God. It's the blood of Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus. You know, we're not supposed to be weak, sick, depressed, oppressed, full of loneliness, anxiety, sin, all these things, all these negative things in our life, every day of our lives, if we apply the blood of Jesus, we will be victorious. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Holy Communion is holy. Say holy. holy. It's a holy sacrament. Hindi natin ito nilalaro, hindi natin ito binibiro. It is so precious. Hindi natin ito ginagawang ritual, religious. That's why when the Lord said, it's time to have communion, I called for communion. Amen? So this morning, you need to be discerning in these times. We are in the times where we need to be enthroned, be in authority. Alam niyo sa natin na kuwa tong authority na to? Jesus. Say Jesus. I know you prayed, but let's close our eyes and focus on Jesus. Focus on His cross. Focus on His love. Lobrio ko your blood that gush out from your body from the top of your head to the sole of your foot that blood is so precious that blood is so powerful that blood that comes out of your body is so holy Jesus may your blood transform us today 
and do a powerful deliverance in our lives. Do a powerful, mighty healing in our bodies and in our minds. Mighty protection. Mighty power. It increases us when we think about the blood of Jesus. Lord, you place us in authority because of your blood. There's no victory without the blood of Jesus. There's no healing without the blood. There's no salvation without the blood. That blood is so alive today that when we speak and talk about your blood, it flows like a river. And every chambers of our mind and in our hearts and our body and in our emotions, God, filled it with so much of your blood. Let the revelation, God, of your word become so alive and powerful as we speak about your blood. Karama sakala la bria kaya. Ya moku shekela la bria kaya. You connect us to your heart, to your spirit. You connect us to heavens through your blood. Leria baka satala la manaya. Fill this place with so much that fire shall come through that blood. Revival anointing, blessing, prosperity, healing, touches every one of us through that blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And all of you said, Can I get the one piece. Just one. Just one. It's okay. Okay. When we talk about communion, we talk about kononia, fellowship, intimacy. Amen. Say communion. We commune. We become intimate. We become so close. We become one with Jesus. Amen? You know the difference between religion and relationship with Jesus is so great. Pag sinabing religion, you do your religious thing. You pray. You worship, you sing a song, you come to church, you pray, you bring your Bible, nothing wrong with that. It becomes a religion when Jesus is not in it. When Jesus becomes number two in your life, everything you're going to do for God becomes religion. When there is no passion, there is no fire, there is no first love in your heart. When you talk about your testimony 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 
I serve the Lord. Pinaglingkuran ko si Jesus. Nagbigay ako, nagpreach ako, nag, nag-share ako, da, 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 long time ago. Or I received Jesus. I'm on fire. Ten years ago. And you're talking about it now, it becomes religion. Kaya maraming religious na tao sa simbahan. When you read the Word of God and there's no passion, hindi nag-aapoy ang puso mo at nag-aalab. Sino dito pumasok dito kanina? Excited na excited. Lord, pupunta ako sa Shiloh. I want to meet Jesus. I want to worship my first love. I, I, I want to I want to feel I want to experience I want the touch para ngayon ka lang na born again ng spirit mo you're on fire say you're on fire your, 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 your problem becomes number three number four number five your number one priority is God alam mo yung mga nasa virtual except those malalayo pero kung nandito lang kayo sa Kabite Sanay na kayo dyan sa manood. Hmm. I seen people nanonood, nagluluto. I seen people na praise and worship dito, nagtitext, nanonood. In the house. How will Jesus feel about it? Right? I tell you, if you are in love with Jesus, you're in fire with Jesus, tatakbo ka, gagapang ka sa church papunta. Amen? You do everything. Siguro madaling araw, you know, I woke up like almost five this morning. Pag, 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 pag mulat pa lang na mata ko. Hindi pa ako nagpipray. Hala Maria, sekel, hala Maria. I'm, arayak, I'm just talking to Jesus, di ko namamalayan. Started to pray, five, six, seven, eight. Labrio no kunsa. I'm in love with Jesus. I'm going, Lord Jesus, I want to feel you. I want to know you. I want to talk to you. Labrio ni kasa talalaraya. When you pray, but there's no more fire in your heart to fall in love with Jesus. Alam mo, pag in love ka, walang makakapigil sa'yo. Amen? Walang makakapigil sa'yo mag-share tungkol kay Jesus. Kaya hindi na sinasabi yun, ay mag leader ka, mag-train ka, mag- no, 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 no. If you're in love, you're in love. Amen? You give everything for Jesus. You give your life for Jesus. You forgot about everything, anything. Amen? You just want to think about it. You just want to love Him. Pag upo mo sa sasakyan, pag upo mo sa jeep, you, you feel that fire, you feel that, that love, you forget. Ayaw mo mag-isip ng problema, ayaw mo mag-isip ng emosyon, ayaw mo nag-ingit, selos, galit, everything. You just want Jesus. You're on fire. Amen? Pero kung laging una mga problema, ay nasaktan ako, ay gano'n na, ayaw na, 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 all your complaints. Jesus. Your, your, Jesus is here, but you're going away from Him. Problems, anger, bitterness, jealousy, unforgiveness, sins, you're going farther from Jesus. You're going farther now you go to church. <laughs> Yung camera hindi sumusunod sa akin. <laughs> I want to buy a big camera. Follows me wherever I go. <laughs> you do it like this. Ang layo mo kay Jesus. I want Jesus. Come here, Jesus. You go there. You, you stand there. Let's don't cast a pulpit. Let's say she has Jesus example, and you're going farther. You're, you're thinking, yung mga thoughts natin, yung mga em- negative emotions natin, yung mga problema, yung mga sakit karamdaman. The devil put that in us. The devil assigned that to us. 
every temptation the devil assigned it to us. Every stress, strong, every anger, bitterness, every jealousy, every unforgiveness, every sin, every vices. The devil put that in you. Kaya dati in love na in love ka kay Jesus. You worship Jesus. You love Jesus. You want to hear the voice of Jesus, the heartbeat of Jesus. But because of all these things, you go farther. Isang sama ng loob, farther. Isang galit, farther. Isang... Ano? Unforgiveness, farther. Isang what? Kasalanan, farther. Ang layo-layo mo na, nandito ka na, nandito ka na, nandito ka na. And yet you're saying you're Christian. And yet you're saying born again. So you go to church, you pray, you worship, you sing, you read your Bible. Lebre akasa talalari. My hands are filling with gold. <laughs> Ramos, you do everything. You give your tithes, you give your offering, lahat ng ginagawa sa simbahan, ginagawa mo. But look at your distance between Jesus and you. Now you become religious. 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 Kaya maraming taong religyoso eh. <laughs> ha? Hatak-hatak ka ni Satan. Hatak-hatak ka niya. Hatak-hatak ka niya. Hanggang sa makaalis ka na. You will no longer fail. Nagiging ritual, nagiging responsibility. Ang lahat ng ginagawa mo kay Jesus, nahihirapan ka, nabibigatan ka, napipressure ka. Ano ba tawag doon? Ah, uh, uh, what do you call that? The burn out ka! Kakanta ka lang, napapagod ka na. <laughs> Magbabasa ka pa lang ng Bible mo, sawa ka na. Magpipray ka na, tulog ka na. Why? Because you're so far from God. You're a religious person. But the blood of Jesus is full of grace, mercy. Amen? Yun naman ang nagahatak sa'yo pabalik. 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 I repent for my unforgiveness. I repent for thinking about problems more than God. I repent for my jealousy and anger. I repent for my burnout. I repent. One blood, Jesus drops it to you. Jesus drops it. All unforgiveness, Jesus drop it. Jesus drop it. And your unti-unti, Ura mahaya se kelalaraya. Unti-unti, Lord, unforgiveness, forgive me. Lord, anger, forgive me. Lord, sin, forgive me. Lord, sexual, Lord, all of this. And every time you repent, the blood cleanses. The blood cleanses. And the blood connects you. Connects you. You're going closer and closer until wala ka nang pakialam sa lahat. You fall in love again with Jesus. You fall in love. You want to stay where you are in love. Amen? You want to stay where you are in love. You want to hear the voice of the heart of Jesus. You want to embrace Him. You want to be fellowship. One, one, one together. No longer religion attaches to you. You become a real spiritual sons of God. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. That's why when we talk about the bread, this is not just a bread. Hindi lang ito tinapay. Pag nasa spirit ka, itong tinapay na ito nagiging kawatawa ni Jesus. In the natural, it looks like bread. Right? But when you are in the spirit, that lives inside of you, this bread becomes the body of Jesus. You are one with the body of Jesus. Amen? Yang katawan mo, yang isip mo, yang puso mo, nagiging isa kay Jesus. When you partake, the bread of Jesus, the body of Jesus becomes your body. The mind of Jesus becomes your mind. The emotions of Jesus becomes your emotions. Amen? Amen? Amen. Labrio. 
So powerful. Communion is so powerful. And specially, kaya yung katawan mo, sino dito ang robot? Tingnan mo nga sabi mo, baka may robot na dyan. Wala. Okay, may katawan pa lahat yan. May katawan pa. Praise God. Say, my body is the body of Christ. Siya ang may karapatan sa katawan mo dahil siya ang naglalagay ng hininga dyan. If this morning you woke up without the breath of God, <gasps> wala ka rito ngayon. Siya yung magre-reklamo, ang dami kong problema. Think about, you never thank the Lord every morning for the breath that God gives you. Amen? Sino dito kanina umaga nagpasalo, salamat buhay pa ako. Ang dami na namamatay, ang dami na namatay sa sakit. Buhay ka pa. That's the breath of Jesus. Jesus gives life. Amen? Dapat nagpapasalamat ka kay Jesus every day. Naalala ko nung pumunta kami sa, may kasabay ako sa restroom na babae. Ang tagal-tagal niya. Doon, antay ako ng antay. Sabi ko, nakatulog na yata to sa loob. Ang tagal-tagal. And then, paglabas, sabi niya ganyan, Ay, salamat! Sabi ko, ate, hindi yung ba niyo na-appreciate ang kidney na binigay sa inyo ng Lord? Kung wala sa kidney na yan na buhay, na, 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 na magaling, na walang sakit, hindi nyo mailalabas yan sa loob ng CR. Nagulat yung babae sa akin. No? Right? Your body. Everything in your body was given by God. Lahat yan may purpose. Right? Yung bibig mo, kaya nilagay ng Diyos yan, may purpose yan. Eh, sabi mo, hindi ako marunong mag-preach. Pero marunong ka mag Chismis? Bakit hindi mo umpisang i-chismis si Jesus? Talk about His goodness. Talk about His love. Talk about His power. Talk about the grace, the mercy, the protection. Amen? Yang bibig ginagamit yan sa prayer so that you can connect with God. Amen? How many times you pray a day? Mas marami pa ang kwento mo. Mars marami pang reklamo mo sa prayer mo. Your mouth is called to declare. It, it, that, 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 that mouth, that voice box. Kaya hindi lang bibig meron ka, meron ka ditong voice box. Right? You, you use that to worship God. Yan ang number one priority mo. Kaya may bibig ka. You use that to praise Him. Amen? Kaya walang maglilipsin dito haba nag-worship sa Lord. Glory, glory pa'y na lang ha, ganun ka pa. Don't you know that we are live by a satellite in heaven? Amen? God is looking for a remnant na talagang mga worshiper na walang pakialam. Pagpasok ko, I'm so blessed there are some people who are on their knees worshiping God. Alam mo, gusto gusto ko yun. Eh, may nakatira pa dyan, may nakaluhod dyan. Wala na silang pakialam sa sarili nila. They just want to worship the Lord. Amen? I want that kind of ecclesia. Powerful worshiper. Amen? Pero kung iniisip mo yung iniisip ng tao sa'yo, iniisip mo yung problema mo, iniisip mo lahat na dito, look at how you worship. Glorify Thy name, glorify thy name, glorify thy name. You are religious. But when you worship, you think about Jesus. You dedicate your voice unto Jesus. You dedicate your hands unto Jesus. You dedicate your body. Kaya yung body mo, hindi ang ginawa ng Diyos para mabandaid sa kasalanan, mabandaid sa bisyo. Amen? 
Sabi mo, Christian ka na, born again ka na, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Bakit wala akong makitang new sa iyo, puro old? Jesus was crucified on the cross. Tapat araw-araw, para lagi natin maaalala si Jesus. Pwede ba i-crucify natin ang lahat-lahat ng mga bagay na hindi makakaglorify sa Lord? Amen! Ipako mo yung utak mo. <laughs> sa cross ni Lord. Amen? That's why Jesus gave all his life. Imagine, galing pa siya sa langit. He came from heaven. He chose to die. Lahat, in-airport niya, lahat ng, grabe, iniwan niya lahat. Iniwan niya ang langit. Just imagine, isang mansion daw doon na malaking malaki. Ang isang mansion daw sa langit, ang laki ay parang empire's building sa New York. Yung pinakmataas na mata na mataas, na mataas. Halos hindi mo na daw makita yung dulo. Ganun kalaki isang mansion pa lang. And it's pure of gold. Tapos dito, nakikipag-away ka sa gold. Nakikipag-away ka sa pera. Nandadaya ka sa pera. Samantala yung pupuntahan mo, libre lahat, ginto pa. Pati kutsara tenidor. Amen. That's why Jesus lived everything. Tira mo yung, yung ginawa niya lahat-lahat. Iniwan niya yung ganda ng langit. Alam niyo ba yung bulaklak sa langit? Yung flower, yung bulaklak. Isang bulaklak, sing laki na nitong building na to. Isang bulaklak pa lang. Nakita niyo yung rose. Maraming petals. Malaking-malaking rose at nagsasayaw. That's where Jesus came from. And there's so many living creatures, angels, thousands, millions, hindi mo mabilang, myriads of angels worshiping Jesus. And yet, pinili niya na bumaba pinaka lowest, kung merong ascending, merong descending. Pinili niya yung Pinaka, alam mo bang nanonood yan sila sa earth? Sabi niya, saan ba riyan ang pinaka, pinaka lowest of the lowest? Kaya saan dinala si Jesus? Sa sabsaban. Yung entrance niya from heaven, diretso sa sabsaban, dun siya pinanganak. That's why God hates pride. At tutusok-tusok siya doon, ang daming maabaw doon, punong-puno yan. Kasi lagayan yun ng lahat ng hayop. Lahat ng pupo ng hayop nandun, ipipi ng hayop nandun, lahat ng mabaho, sa pinakamabaho, yun ang hinanap ni Jesus. A God that is so humble. A God! Worship in heaven. Galing sa pinakamagandang lugar that no man ever reach. And yet he came down and live here on earth. Pwede naman siya sa pamilya ng mayayaman kay king, kay king, kay king. Pero pinili niya yung karpintero. Don't you know God loves a humble person? God loves. Inaanap niya yun. Nababanguhan siya sa taong napaka-humble sa buhay. Na kahit na nasa kanya na o kahit ano mangyari, He never changes. Doon ko nakita yung kung ano yung karakter ni Jesus. Malapit si Jesus sa taong may kababaan ng loob. Amen? And yet, Ramalala Priya, He came 
for you. Ginawa niya yun para sa iyo. Para sa akin. Close your eyes. Imagine a God. Imagine God, Jesus, the King of glory, came down. Hindi lang siya sa sabsaban pinanganak. Lumaki sa hirap. Lumaki sa hirap. Laging nagtatrabaho. Laging nagpupukpuk ng martilyo. Kumagawa ng carpentry. Bakit siya karpentero? Kasi he visualized someday he gonna die with that wood. At pupukpukin siya ng martilyo. Ang mga kamay niya. Ang mga pako na yan. Sinanay na siya na makita yan araw-araw. Because that, as that, that nails, that, that yung martilyo na yan, yung kawin na isang prophetic araw-araw nakikita niya. It's a prophecy of his life. Para mamatay siya. Para sa iyo. Para mamatay siya. Para sa iyo. He gave his life. Paano mo malalaman na ang tao binigay at inalay ang buhay sa iyo pag yung dugo niya? The last thing makikita mo sa mortuary, ang pinakahuling ginagawa sa tao tinatanggal yung dugo, dinidrain. All the blood of Jesus was drained for you and for me. It's not about religion, people. Ang pagiging anak ng Diyos, pagiging Kristiyano, pagiging pagtangga, pagiging born again is about acknowledging that this Jesus, the King of heaven, the King of glory, came down, gave His life for you. Lahat ng dugo. Alam mo bakit maraming dugo na lumabas sa katawan ni Jesus? Lahat ng parts, lahat ng pores niya, lahat ng butas ng katawan niya, walang tigil ang fountain of blood. Because all of those blood, we needed it daily. Kaya ang dugo ni Jesus hanggang ngayon buhay. Hindi ba naikwento ko sa inyo yon Na doon sa Israel, Dinala ang blood ni Jesus na nakita doon sa bundok ng Golgota. Yung tuyong dugo for thousands of years. Nahanap pa ng isang archaeologist. Merong isang patak ng dugo doon sa pinakailalim nung gagawin nila yung aayusin nila yung, yung bundok na yun. At dinala nila sa laboratory at nakita nila na yung dugo na yun ay buhay. Paano nangyari 2,000 years ago? Years, 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 years. Thousands of years. Buhay pa rin. Hindi na mamatay ang dugo ni Jesus. Bakit hindi pwedeng mamatay? Kasi araw-araw, lahat ng problema, lahat ng takot, lahat ng kasalanas, lahat ng sumpa, lahat ng negatibo, lahat ng hindi mo kaya baguhin sa buhay mo kaya ng dugo ni Jesus. Every day, He applies it over your life. When you ask forgiveness, Lord, hindi ko kayang magpatawad. The blood of Jesus. Buhay! Hindi mo nakikita, pero buhay in the Spirit. Amen. When you ask forgiveness, He washes it. That's why being born again is not a religion. It's Jesus' Spirit living inside of you. Amen? Tapat na babago kayo pag ang Spirito ng Diyos nasa inyo, nasa loob mo. The Spirit brings life. Amen? The life of Jesus inside of you. Amen? 
need to discern. This is symbolic of the blood of Jesus. Mukha lang siyang gray, um, strawberry or grapes or whatever sa communion. Pero once pinartake mo to in the spirit, it becomes the blood of Jesus. Amen. And it cleanses everything. Lahat ng daanan. Remember, the blood circulates all over your body. It goes everywhere. Labas, masok sa puso. Ang dugo, yan ang nagpapalaka sa'yo. Pag maputla ka, wala kulang ka sa dugo, hinihimatay ka, nagkakasakit ka. Pag sobra-sobra naman ang dugo mo, hinihimatay ka, nagkakasakit ka. Pero the blood of Jesus neutralize everything in your body. Lahat ng daanan niya, lahat ng problema sa katawan mo gumagaling. Because it's alive. Kaya pag nagpapartay kayo ng communion, wag lang, ang ganyan niya. Ganyan niya, ganyan. Tapos na. You have to go in the spirit and see that the power, this is powerful, the body of Jesus. It was broken. Nagkapira-piraso. Kaya nga pinagpapiraso pa rin sa tinapay. Kaya pag kinakagat ko to, one time I had a revelation. Habang kinakagat ko to parang nadudurog. Sabi ko, Lord God, nagkadurog-durog ang katawan mo para lang maligtas ako. It takes a supernatural God who became man so every one of us be saved. Amen? Walang pwedeng magligtas sa atin kung hindi ang dugo ni Jesus. Amen? This is so powerful when we talk about the blood of Jesus. Ayaw na ayaw, maraming simbahan, ayaw na ayaw pag-usapan ng blood ni Jesus. Nakukornihan, matagal na rin. And because you know what? The enemy knows that when we talk about the blood of Jesus, it shatters, it thunders in heaven. When they see the blood, my God, all angels honored. What is that blood? Lebriana makasa. Only human being. Alam mo pag nagkamali ang anghel, wala silang grace, wala silang blood ni Jesus. They go to judgment right away. But when a man like you and me make mistakes, and get convicted, we come to Him. And right away, the blood in the realm of the Spirit psh, cleanses our sins, our weaknesses. Kaya dapat hindi tayo humihina ang katawan natin. Hindi tayo nagkakasakit. Because we have the blood of Jesus. We, it's a covenant. Every time the Father sees the blood of His Son in your life, as long as Jesus is alive in your heart, as long as you worship the real Jesus, as long as you are not religious, the blood is so powerful. Kaya takot na takot ang demonyo sa'yo. The enemy cannot come to me. Because of power, yes, there's power. Because of anointing. Yes, there's anointing. But what he sees is the blood of Jesus covering me. La Maria kisa tala la Maria kaya raya. Amen? He cannot touch you. He will protect you with his blood. Amen? Kaya nga sinabi, di ba? Thousands death on, ten thousands died on the right. Ten thousand died on the left. Nakatayo ka pa rin. You're alive. COVID will never touch you and kill you. Why? Because there's so much power in the blood. Thousand times, 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 times. Harama, that's gonna be your vaccine against the enemy. Sino na dito? Ang dami dam vaccine. Lahat na tinusok na sa katawan mo. And yet, nakahawa ka pa rin. But just one drop of the blood of Jesus. Psh! Tunaw ang lahat ng sakit. Amen? That's the reason I told my husband, Udalian mo, honey. 
Magpapagaling pa kami ni Jesus ng mga tao may sakit doon. I love to talk about that. Why? Why I am sure that God will heal the person. Hindi ako namimili pag nagpipray ako na may sakit. Ay, to, 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 to. Ito mas, hindi nyo napansin yung pinaka-worship yung una kong pinupuntahan. Subukan muna natin sa masakit ang ulo. Ako, mahirap yun. Huwag na yun. Because I have a revelation that one drop of the blood of Jesus will heal that person. Amen? Bread should be the body of Jesus. Kaya ang katawan ninyo, pwede ba ihandog nyo sa Diyos yan? Pastora, yung puso ko lang ang kay Lord. Walang tigil ang paggawa ng kasalanan. Walang tigil ang sexual urges mo dyan. Walang tigil ang pagsisinungaling mo. Everything. Pata sabi mo, yung, yung heart ko kay Lord. Eh yung katawan mo. That was also redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Amen? Your body should be given, should be dedicated to the Lord. Wag na wag mong ibibigay ang katawan mo kahit kaninong demonyo. Young people, single people, when a, when a man came to you, and wants to touch your body, say this, my body belongs to the Lord. It doesn't belong to you. Amen. And God will give me a gift, my husband, so I can give this pure body to my husband as a gift for the Lord to be rejoicing. Amen? Mr. baka iwanan niya ako. Ngayon palang palayasin mo na siya. If he pours you, pours you, Kung talagang mahal mo ko, ibibigay mo ko. Ibibigay mo yung katawan mo. Nakita niyo itong sandalyas na to? Mataas-taas to. Kumuha kayo nito. Lagyan niyo ng panusok. <coughs> I tell you, hindi na yan uulit sa'yo. And the real man, the real woman that God has given you, prepared for you, someday will be the one to be your lifetime partner. Amen. Your body doesn't belong. Your hands doesn't belong to the things that is not yours. Amen. Pagka pinipilit mong kunin, hindi sa'yo, ano sabi mo? The blood of Jesus purifies my hands. I'm giving you power, people. Daily power. Amen? Amen. Dapat itong kamay natin ang hahawakan ito. Blessing. Amen. Ang papatungan nito, healing. Amen. Dalawa lang. mag ang kamay mo at tatanggap ng blessing. Amen. Those two things. The rest, Because when we drink the blood of Jesus daily, we drink the life of Jesus. Nagkakaroon ng buhay na on fire ka kay Jesus, na in love ka si Jesus kay Jesus. Kasi nalilinis niya lahat ng system mo. Kaya sabi mo, no, hindi ko kaya ang paglabanan, hindi ko kaya ang kasalanan. The blood! Amen! Amen. The blood of Jesus! John 19, verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished, and bowed his head, and gave up the ghost. Sabi niya, it is finished. Say it. It is finished. It is finished. Tagalog, tapos na. Tapos na. Tapos na. Bakit niya sinabi yun? Tapos ng struggles mo. Kaya mo mag-overcome. Kaya mo pagtagumpayan ang lahat ng ibibigay na pain ng kaaway sa'yo. Amen? 
He gave you anointing. He gave you thanks so you can speak unto the Lord. It's finished. Sinasabi niya sa demonyo, tapos ka na, satanas! Hindi mo kakayanin niya sino man na anak ko, na merong spirito ko, na tumanggap sa akin, na born again sa spirito niya. Hindi mo kakayanin. I have a covenant with that person. My covenant of Jesus to us is His blood. Ang dugo niya, ang covenant niya, Every time your body is not yielded to the cross or the, the blood of Jesus, your body is yielded to your emotions. Kaya alam nyo yung emotion, parang yoyo yan. It's a lie. It's, it's deceiving. Kaya kang dayain ang emotion mo. What's happened? Nalaglag po. Nalaglag. Bakit di ko nakita? Bakit kayo hindi nyo nakita na laglag? Eh, sa kalayo-layo niya, nandun siya. Thank you for watching me, sir. And the blood. Hindi mo nakita na laglag? Praise God. You're so focused. I love that. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. Ayun pala naman yan. Liwaliwanag eh. <laughs> Praise God. Sana. Kiyala labriya kaya. This is the whole will of God. Kaya lahat ng nangyari sa buhay nyo, nakakahika, nakakahiya. Sino dito nakaranas ng kahiyan? O, ginagay taas ng kamay nyo. Kung gusto nyo naman na maging totoo kayo, taas yung kamay nyo. May nangyari sa yung kahiyan. hindi nyo pwedeng daling yan habang buhay, lalo na ngayon. Why? Because once you say, Lord, forgive me and cleanse me from the top of your head to the sole of your foot, the blood will wash it away. At hindi na maaalala ni Jesus yung kahihiyan mo. In the eyes of God, there's nothing that happened. You're pure. Amen? Eh, hey, pastora, ba't naaalala ka rin? Yung conscience mo. Kaya patahimikin mo yung konsensya mo, okay? Patahimikin mo yung utak mo. Patahimikin mo yung... Or, I have a covenant with Jesus. Jesus has a covenant with me. That my past has already been erased by the blood. Huwag niyong ismuli ng blood ni Jesus. Once in-erase niya yan, it will be forgotten in heaven. Amen? Amen? Alam nyo ba sa langit, meron, kayong aklat, meron tayong aklat ng buhay? Right? At yung aklat ng buhay na yun, walang nakalagay na pangit doon. That's why all Christians, all born again, pagdating ng araw, yung mga remnant yung naging tapat. Ang judgment natin is rewards. We will be judged by God according to our works, but God will not judge us according to our sins because of the blood. Amen? Anong tawag ko sa inyo ngayon? Saints! Bakit ko kayo tinawag ng mga saints? Because in the eyes of God and His Father, you are all washed by the blood. Amen. We are all saints in the eyes of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. That is true in the realm of the Spirit. Kaya walang tigil kami kakaturo sa inyo. Go into the realm of the Spirit. Every Friday night, you come here, you pray. Labriyana yalala. Wala ka maririnig. Everybody goes to the realm of the Spirit. Amen? Kasi yung natural, yan yung nararamdaman mo. Pero kung lumalakas ang spirit mo kesa sa soul mo o kaluluwa mo, you can silence the voice of your emotions. Amen? Every time I pray, in the realm of the spirit. Labrian na kasotola labraya. Hours and hours and hours. Paglabas ko sa room ko. 
It's like I'm floating in the air. Amen? And nothing is impossible. When you are covered by the blood of Jesus, no enemy can touch you. I have this last Friday. Sino nandito last Friday? Walang tigil na praya. Kala man, na, na, na. Ara, para, yala, hindi nyo naman naiintindihan. Pero lalo kayo na on fire. Lalo kayo lumalak. Sino para pansin, pag nagpipray kayo in the spirit, hindi nyo man naiintindihan yung mga tanks nyo. Pero lumalakas kayo. Nagkakaroon kayo ng matinding pananampalatay. Lumalakas kayo. Lalo kayo napapalapit sa Lord. We prayed hours. Kaya pag nainip ka sa spirit, ay pag nainip ka sa prayer, wala ka sa spirit. Right? Nandun ka sa flesh. 45 minutes, ibit mo. After 45 minutes, you're floating. Amen? Pastora, para mo nalaman, ginagawa ko. Ito, he overcomes the enemy. Sa Revelations 1, 18, Jesus says, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever. And lay, hold the keys of death. Sino may hawak ng keys of death? Si Jesus, hindi kay Satan. Wala siyang karapatayin na patayin ka. That's why we are immortals. Immer- immortality. Death impossible. Amen? When you're with Jesus, hindi ka magkakaroon ng premature death. If you do the will of God, and you know that God's blood is in you, you can fight death. I remember my sister-in-law when she was having a cancer. Kinikimo siya and nire-radiation siya and everything. I went to her house and conducted communion with her. I said, there's so much. I explained the power of the body and the blood of Jesus and laid hands and prayed for her. Amen? And that blood continues to cleanse her day by day, removing every cancer on her body day by day. Once pinag-pray mo yung blood, nagiging effective yan hanggang sa totally gumaling ka. Amen? And she was totally healed of cancer. Walang makitang trace sa kanya, sa katawan niya. Ni isang cancer, walang nakita. Ni isang remembrance, wala. Amen? That's why the blood of Jesus kaya niyan tunawin ang lahat ng sakit sa katawan mo. Amen? Go to the Spirit and say, Lord, the blood of Jesus he possessed the keys of death. Sabi ni Jesus, walang mamamatay. Kaya tayo, pagdating ng araw, mararapture tayo. Patuloy ka lang na magig remnant, huwag kang aalis sa Lord. Patuloy ka lang maglingkod, magmahal sa Diyos. Dadating ang araw, di tayo mamamatay. Mararapture tayo. Amen? Sabay-sabay tayo. Kikita tayo doon sa air. Ang dami natin. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ah, kaya yung mga kung ano-ano nyo sa puso ninyo, mga negative-negative ninyo, you have to surrender that to Jesus. Kasi once na hiningi mo ng tawad yan, tsaka palang nagiging effective ang blood. Amen? Kasi ang blood ni Jesus nandyan yan eh, buhay. Nagiging epektibo yan pag lumalapit ka sa kanya at humihingi ng tawad. Yung totoo. You know, yesterday, 
I listened to the testimony of this guy. He's a, ano ba pangalan niya? Hindi naniniwala kay Jesus. Atheist. Hindi antichrist. Atheist. Hindi naniniwala sa Diyos. He lives his own life. Grabe dito ko nakita yung grace ng Lord. Ang dumi ng buhay niya. He lives in a life of sin. Lahat ng klaseng karumal-dumal ginagawa niya. Because he doesn't believe in God. God never exists. And one day, kinukulit siya nung sister niya na born again, spirit build. Punta ka naman sa church, punta ka naman, meron kami nung ano, sabi niya. Ang kulit-kulit, hindi lang niya masampal o masuntok dal sister niya. Kaya kayo kulitin niyo yung pamilya niyo. Amen? Kinukulit siya. Sabi niya doon sa girlfriend niya, para manahimik na yung kapatid ko, pumunta tayo doon, tapos yun ang pinakalas, una at pinakulit, pagbigyan na natin, para tama na kakulitan niya. And when he came to the church, he sat at the very end, yung malapit sa pintuan. Eh, Meron tao, they love the very end. Para pagkatapos, nandun na agad sila. Yun na nasa utak niya. Magbasbas lang tong pastor na to, nandun na ako sa labas. At hindi na ako babalik sa simbang ito forever and ever and ever. Sa palagay nyo, naririnig ng Diyos. <laughs> and you know what? At the end, meron daw humawak sa kanya. Wala naman tao, hinihila siya sa unahan. Nagko-calling altar. Nag-altar call. Those who wants to be saved. Okay. Tinatawanan pa nga niya yung pastor. Actually, tinatawanan niya. Kung ano, at nagsasalita siya ba nagsasalita yung pastor? Sabi niya, baliw yata ito. Kung ano-anong negative words. Sa palagay niyo, naririnig ng Diyos. Pero may humila sa kanya. Pinipigil daw niya ganyan. Hinihila siya sa unahan, walang tako. Wala naman siyang choice. Pagdating niya doon sa unahan, he never know how to pray, right? Alam niya, sabi niya, alam mo ko sabi niya kay Jesus, sabi niya kay sa, sa Panginoon, sabi niya ganyan, kung totoo ka, kung mapapanunayan mong totoo ka, iiwanan ko tong girlfriend ko. Kung mapapatunayan mong totoo ka, kasi mag, mag, I think he's gonna be a lawyer. Hindi, iiwanan ko yung pagiging lawyer ko. Da, 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 da. All of this, pinangakong paglilingkuran kita habang buhay. Alam niyo bakit niya sinabi yon? Kasi sabi niya, wala naman Diyos eh. Kaya ko ano may sabihin ko, okay lang. Hindi totoo. Wala ba Diyos? The blood is alive. The grace of Jesus through that blood. And suddenly, God touched this man. Not only he fell, he began to speak in tongues. Amazing. <laughs> I cannot control it. He said, pinipilit niyang hinaan dahil maririnig daw nung girlfriend niya. In his mind, ayaw niya nito. Ba, ah, ah, walang tigil ang speaking in tongues niya. Walang tigil. Atheist to, doesn't believe in God. As the grace of the blood of Jesus. That's the grace. Kaya mga kapatid niyo, mga magulang niya, kulitin niyo. Ito, kinulit lang siya ng kapatid niya eh. And when he went home, three days and three nights, walang tulugan, he started to speak in tongues. Labre, mas matindi pa sa atin, ano? Karaman na naman, na, 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 na. hindi tumitigil. In his room, the mother hears, he started to preach. Hindi na tutulog, preach, preach, tongues, preach, tongues. He turned the university upside down when he went back to his college. My God, all his classmates' friends got saved. Deliverance started to cast out demons, deliverance left and right. He started to heal people left and right. Ang bahay nila na puno ng tao, malaki yung bahay nila. So he got 500, tinanggal niya lahat ng mga silya, ng mga furniture sa bahay. Powerful is now a man of God. Amen? Because of the 
blood of Jesus. Grabe. Kaya yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, may pag-asa pa yan. Don't give up on them. When I heard that, I was so blessed. At ngayon, sineshera niya, halos mga Hollywood stars, rapper na si Save because of this man. Lahat na mga, yung mga grabing matitinding witchcraft na galing pa raw sa, sa ritual, galing pa sa, sa pag-inom ng dugo, mga, mga matitindi satanis na born again dahil sa taong ito. Amen? They come to Him. They want to be delivered. No training. Walang training, wala lahat. Walang Ah, principles of, principles of ganito. Principles, ladder ganito. Ah, pathway ganito. Wala. The Holy Spirit empowered him and he sees the blood coming to him. The blood of Jesus coming to him. The blood of Jesus. Alam nyo daw yung mata niya nung masave siya, nung maborn again siya, nakakita daw siya doon sa mata may naglalabasan na kulay itim. Di ba si Paul ganun? Nagkaroon ng kaliskis yung mga mata niya naglalaglagan. Grabe maglinis ang dugo ni Jesus. Amen? Grabe maglinis ang dugo ni Jesus. Rabalaraya sekela labraya kaya. Alam nyo ba na matindi maglinis ang dugo ni Jesus? Look at your life. Compare your life from now and before. Hindi ba ang dami ng hinugasan sa'yo? Amen? Amen? John 10, 17, 18, Jesus says, The reason my Father loves me is that I laid down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay down my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. The command I received from my Father when Jesus died, He died according to His own timing. Hindi ang Diyos ang magpipilit sa inyo. Yung buhay mo, i-lay down mo sa Lord. Yung kasalanan mo, ibigay mo sa Lord. Yung mga kahinaan mo, ibigay mo sa Lord. Amen? If you lay down your life to Him, sabi niya, hindi ako pinilit ng ama ko sa langit. Ay binigay ko ang buhay ko. Alam kong mamamatay ako sa cross, pero binigay ko ang buhay ko sa Kanya. Binigay ko ang buhay ko sa Kanya. I died on the cross. I died. I remember Catherine Kuhlman says, I died a thousand deaths. Every time I get out, kasi na, hindi raw siya ganun kagaling in everything. It's not even, it's, she's not even supposed to be a preacher. Pati babae, pati siya. Catherine Kuhlman, used by God mightily, babae. Nung panahon ni Catherine Kuhlman, walang babaeng nagpipreach. That's why God has to give him all, give her all the power from heaven. Para lang paniwalaan na may babaeng gagamitin ng Diyos. And you know what I heard from her? You see the power in my life, sabi ni Catherine Kuhlman. Auditorium is filling, all auditorium. People got healed everywhere. Alam mo sabi ni, ni Catherine Kulva, I died a thousand deaths. Daily I died. Pwede ba mamatay kayo araw-araw sa buhay nyo? Ano yung sinasabi niyang died a thousand deaths? Yung hiya niya, yung takot niya, yung mga sama niya ng loob, yung mga taong iniwan siya, yung mga taong nag-persecute sa kanya, ah, masakit yun. Pati she has to die. Every time she opens yung auditorium, yung kurtina, ayaw niya lumabas dyan, naiya siya. Paano kung hindi gumaling yung mga tao? Buong buhay niya, baka batuhin siya. But she has to die for all those fears. Kaya yung mga emosyon natin, kailangan mamatay araw-araw eh. Eh kasi nakakata, napapagod ako mag-pray. Die! Kasi hindi ko masyaran yung kapatid ko, baka mamaya hindi masay. Die! Kasi hindi ko maalis yung bisyo ko. Die! If 
you love your cellphone more than the presence of God, ang cellphone patayin mo. Amen. Dati nagdadala pa ako ng cellphone sa prayer ko para may backup ako, may music. Kailangan maganda music. Glorify. Ngayon wala na. Istorbo ko lang yung music, music ko na yan. I take it out para walang disturbo, para hindi tumunog yung cellphone ko. And I worship, and I pray, and I intercede. Labria nakasatala, Labria. I talk to Jesus. He's waiting for me. He's waiting for me at the tree. He's waiting for me in my room. He's waiting for me in the sala, all over the place. Labria ko siya kalala. E bahay niyo, nag-aantay si Jesus kung saan kayo magpipray. Just watching you the whole day. Hindi natutulog ang Diyos. He's watching you every single time. Five minutes. Die on your flesh. Amen? Marami tayong papatayin. Kaya kung di mo kaya, Hayaan mo ang blood ni Jesus. Tulungan ka. Amen? The reason is, Father, alam mo bakit mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos? Pag marunong ka magbigay, mag-lay down ng buhay mo para sa Kanya. Ang paglilingkod sa Diyos, hindi kailanman pinipilit. Ang pagpunta rito, kailanman walang pipilit sa iyo. Meron ba dito nilagyan ng kadena, hila-hila papunta rito? Amen. You know what? This is my prayer. That all those who come to this ecclesia will be covered by the blood of Jesus. I remember a testimony of just this week after we prayed last Friday. Yung brother-in-law niya, yung sa CDO, Teacher Marian. Nagkaroon ng, this oras ng gabi, nagkaroon ng abiriya yung sasakyan. Madilim. Lugar daw yun na puro witchcraft. Lugar daw yun na marami. Pwede kang kidnapin, hold up in. Lahat patayin. Ang dilim-dilim. Lugar yun ng mga, ah, sa Mindanao. But because we prayed, last Friday, di ba? The power, the prayer is so powerful. Harabara, you know what I told her? At pinuntahan pa ng asawa niya doon. Kasi tumawag. Kala niya ay, Lord, bala ka na sa husband ko. Came back, both of them alive. You know why? I told them, when we prayed in tongues, labriya, kaya la labriya, God shifted the tongues and Jesus heard it and the blood covers them. Amen? Covers them. I told you, because you're under the covering of Shiloh. When we pray here, Kuramanda kaya, Satala labriya kaya. You know when I pray, I do like this, Labriya kaya, covering. Amen? Hindi lang basta-basta kayo nakaupo dyan. You're being covered by the blood of Jesus. There's protection in the blood of Jesus. I remember Pastor John told me, testimony, one time, millions of demons showed up. Millions of demons. Iba-ibang mukha, iba-ibang, ah! Eh, isa nga lang, baka mamaya hinimatay ka na eh. Sa kanya, million. He tried to cast out, ayaw umalis. He tried every prayer, ayaw umalis. He tried everything, ayaw umalis. And the Lord told him, rebuke all those demons by the blood of Jesus. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ and the power of his blood, I rebuke all of them. Show all the millions demons came out and angels came in. Amen? When they see the blood of Jesus. Amen. Say when they see the blood. John 19.30, Jesus who has the authority over death had the unique power to give us His Spirit. God has given us a Spirit. Amen? 
His Spirit lives inside of our spirit. Amen? Sabi dito, the authority over death. We have authority over death. We speak to sickness and diseases. Command it to go. We command depression to go. We command spirit of death to leave us. Amen. Lahat ng klaseng death, pati sa finances nyo, pagpatay na yan, kaya nyong utusan yan. Amen? He has the authority to release the Jesus said, remember my blood. Diba sabi niya, pag nagko-communion, remember me. Remember me. Ano yung pinapaalala sa'yo ng Lord? Remember yung death niya, inamatay siya para maligtas ka. My blood, my covenant. Kahit magpalipat-lipat pa kayo ng relihiyon araw-araw, magpalipat-lipat kayo ng simbahan, ubusin yung lahat ng simbahan. Without the shedding of the blood of Jesus cleansing you, you will never be saved. Amen? It's only by the blood of Jesus. It's only by the blood of Jesus. Amen? You know, sa Exodus 12.7, nung dadaan ang angel of death para patayin ang lahat ng panganay na anak sa Egypt, may mga panganay din na anak ang mga Israelita. Right? So dadaanan din yun pag dumaan yung angel of death. Pero nung sabi dito, and they shall take up the blood and strike it to the two side posts. Kukuha ka ng blood ng hayop, papatayin mo at ilalagay mo sa hamba ng bahay para pag dumaan sa pintuan, para pag dumaan yung angel of death, makita niya yung dugo doon sa pintuan, hindi siya papasok, walang mamamatay sa inyo. Right? Yun ang sabi niya sa Exodus 12, 13, Blood shall be to you for a token, token upon the house where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Lahat ng mga anak ng mga Egyptians namatay. Pero sabi niya, dadaan ako, makita ko yung blood. Yun, we're talking about the blood of animals. Hayop pa lang yung pinatay. Hayop pa lang. Paano pa kung blood na ni Jesus? Amen. And it's all covering us. As long as you have covenant with Jesus. As long as you're covering Jesus. As long as Jesus, the spirit of Jesus in you. As long as you maintain your born again relationship with Jesus. Nothing by enemies can harm you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Kain yung pagtugumpayan lahat ng pwedeng i- ibanat sa inyo ng kaaway. You know, yesterday, makikita mo dun sa YouTube, recession, recession. Merong recession sa 2023 in the whole world. Recession, recession, recession. Walang makain, dadadadal. Ako ano-ano lang meron sa recession. Lahat wala. Lahat ang mga presyo ng bahay bags ako. Lahat, lahat a recession. And I'm just, and suddenly the Lord opened up my eyes and showed me in the vision about heaven. And he's just talking to me. Anak, doon sa lugar ko, walang recession. Lahat ng kailangan mo ipoprovide ko. Lahat ng hihingin mo, ibibigay ko sa iyo. Lahat ng meron ako ay sayo. You know, God is just, Jesus just talking to me while I'm just labriya, kinabalalabaraya. Iniwan kasi ako ni Pastor, they went somewhere yesterday. And Ken also. So, nandun ako sa bahay, nag-iisa ako. And I'm praying. And suddenly, I heard this. Look at my place here in heaven. Ang tubig dito hindi na uubos. River of life. I will let you drink from the river of life. Precious. 
I'll give you everything. My God, my, my, my faith soared up higher. I forgot about recession. Da, 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 da. That's why we can declare that when you take this communion with all of your heart, communing, fellowship, oneness with Jesus, because of the blood, the covenant, dahil sa dugo ko, you can declare that your days of pains is over today. Lahat ng sakit mo sa buhay, katawan man, utak man, lahat-lahat, tapos na sa araw na to. Your sickness and diseases is over today. Lahat kayo na may sakit, na magpapartake ng communion, the moment the blood of Jesus touches your mouth, the blood the body of Jesus, you will be healed totally. Your days of sorrow is over. Lahat kayo na nalulungkot. Nalulungkot. Wala pa akong asawa. Ang lungkot-lungkot. Yan naman may asawa. Sana hindi na ako nag-asawa. Ang lungkot-lungkot. Emotions. Sorrows will be over today. Tapos na. It is finished. Amen. Your days of begging. Lord, maawa ka. Pwede ba huwag kayong magpipray ng ganun? Lord, maawa ka naman. Bigyan mo naman ako. God has given you everything. The covenant of blood is covenant of prosperity. Amen? The days of begging. Hindi tayo beggars. Once na na-born again na at nandito na si Jesus sa puso mo, sa buhay mo, all over you, everything will change. Pag hindi pa nabago yan, ma-born again ka totoo. Amen? Stop weeping. We- weeping will come one day, a night, but morning will be over the following day. Problems will be over today. Sinasabi ko na sa inyo, lahat na may daladalang problema dito paglabas nyo, the solution is there. Struggling over, complaining. Complaining. Stop complaining, start praying. Alam mo, hindi na sanay yung bibig ko mag-complain, mag-reklamo. Sanay na sanay yung bibig ko mag-pray in the Spirit. Pag meron ako kikitang problema, I always tell my son, pag may, may mga problema, mami, may problema sa pera, may problema si ganito, may problema si ganyan, may problema sa ganito, ganyan, may problema sa cell, may subproblema sa gano'n. Alam mo, sasabihin ko lang kay Ken. Ken, remember this. Shalino! Alam niya na, kuha niya na. Mag-pray ka na. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. If you can pray in the Spirit, start praying. Labria nakasotola labria kaya. Kuramana la labria sekela labria. Haramana ya sekela la. Harapin mong demonyo. You get out of my way in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against you. Amen? Stop complaining. Tell, tell the saints next to you. Hindi bagay sa saints ang reklamador. Tell, tell, tell your neighbor. Tell, 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 tell. tell. Hindi bagay sa saints ang reklamador. Saints love to pray. Because when you pray, you are connected to the blood and the blood will sustain and provide for all your needs. Amen? Lahat ng tinatrabaho mo, lahat ng tinatrabaho ng kamay mo will be blessed. Hindi ka siyempre mabibless kung nakaupo ka lang at tulog sa bahay mo. There's always time for prayer. There's time for you to work. Even while you're working, you can pray. Amen? 
Aba nagtatrabaho ka kaysa reklamo ka ng reklamo ramasay ka lalambriya na ya kulaman na lalambriya your, 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 your place dun sa lugar mo is being perfected in your place the blood of Jesus is cleansing everything makita mo yung ginawa mo sa trabaho mo yun ang pinakamaganda sa lahat and you will be promoted in yung business mo haba nag nag ah, nag, nag gagawa ka sa business mo, labriyaki na mala, labriyaki na la, haraba na labriyan, niyasa ko, labriyan na la, kaya. That business will flourish together with your prayer. It will ascend to the Lord. Mai-smell niya yung prayer mo. Grabe, yung business mo is touched by prayer. Amen? Amen? Eh, wala, wala ka talagang panahon para magreklamo. Pwede ba pag nanood ka ng balita in everything, kesa namnamin mo yan. You start to pray. Lahat ng makita mong balita, balik ka rin mo. Amen? Nagaaway sila. Break alabriyan niya kaya. Break alabriyan alabriyan. Break every stripe. Break every... I cast out the... Amen? Amen. You, should, you should not watch things that is not Sino ito may cellphone? Dapat marunong kayo mag-control. You command. Amen? You scan. Alam mo nang hindi pwede sa, sa saints ang manood ng mga malalaswa. You're a saint. Tell your neighbor. You're a saint. You're a saint. Hindi nanonood ng mga basura ang saint. Their eyes are holy. Remember your eyes. Put your hands on your eyes. That is the window to the soul. Yan po ay biltana. Kung saan makakapasok yung demonyo. Isa rin yung biltana ng mata nyo. Pag binuksan nyo yan, dyan siya papasok. Amen? Kaya pag nagkakas out ako ng demons, una kong tinitingnan, yung mata nila. I can see through that eye. Malalaman ko kung anong spirit ang pinanood nila, kung anong pumasok sa mata nila na yan. I can smell. Meron akong isang lalaki na pinagpray ko, pinagaling ng Diyos. He looks so dignified. Ang linis-linis na kaputi pa na t-shirt. He looks so okay. But when I come to him, I can smell in the spirit the alcohol. Kaya pala ito ang sakit niya. Right? Your days of barrenness, yung hindi magkaanak, tapos na lahat kayo magiging productive this year. Oo, sinabi ng bansa buong mundo, ganito, ganito, ganito. But you know what? There's power in the blood of Jesus. As long as in the blood is there, we will be protected. Biro mo lahat ng bansa, may COVID tayo, wala pa. Amen. Amen. Because everybody prays. Yeah. Yeah, dito walang COVID dito. Sabi mo, kalabitin mong katabi, walang COVID dito. Nakita mo ako nagpipraise, nakita niyo ako. I never cover. I prayed for people. Inuubuan pa nga ako eh. Sabi mo yung COVID sa akin. No? <coughs> Ito sa mukha ko. Pero pag sabi ko na, It's the name of Jesus. Alam na. Alam na. na. Psh! On the floor. Amen? wala nang business failure dito. I believe lahat ng magnin, mga lahat ng mga negosyante natin, I don't care kung ano negosyo nyo. Taho, bato, papel, aso, herbalife, ano pa ba, ba lahat na maisip nyo? Construction. You know what I'm praying? Lord, darin mo dito magagaling na contractor sa building. Dali mo dito lahat ng magagaling na engineer. Lahat ng doktor. I want this filled with doctors and nurses. Amen? 
was my dream. All people walk of life, magsasaka, ano pa, magdadamo, mag lahat na, magtataho, mag, magigisna. I want all walks of life. Amen? Carpintero. Hindi ako namimili. I see them. We're gonna build buildings. Amen? May building na tayo. May farm pa tayo. Lahat na. All the Goshen, God will provide for us. May matakot. Ang lalaki ng lupa natin. Amen? Lahat kayo, pagtatanimin ko doon. Yung mga ripolyo natin, sing laki ng ulo nyo. Yung mga sibuya, sing laki ng mukha nyo. Pag sinabi nilang recession, wala tayong ganito, wala tayong ganyan. Mm, kunin ng susi kay pastor. Buksan ng pinakamalaking taniman dyan. Makikita mo, gushing with war. Pero tatamnan nyo. Amen. Pastor, wala na raw manok. <laughs> Kunin ng susi kay pastor. Sasalubong sa'yo, nagliliparan iba ibang klaseng manok. May puti, may pula, may pandak, may ano. Ano may maliit na itlog? Pugo. Pakita nyo lahat mula sa baka, mula ang ara baka. Alam mo, naawa ko pag ang baka payat dun sa magiging bakahan natin. Grabe lahat ng matatambang baka. Lagyan nyo ng tatak. Kung merong, ano may tag dito, yung tatak ng microchip, tatatakan nyo ng pangalan nyo. Mm. I want everyone to be blessed. Lahat tinipid namin sa simbang ito. Lahat, lahat. Because there will come a time this church will like Joseph. Amen. 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 My stop, hindi mamamaya to mga ito. <laughs> they will be provided. Talk to them. Sorry na lang sa mga umalis dito. Hindi nila alam ang vision ko. Amen? They're always talking to Pastor Rolly. They're not talking to me. They don't know the vision that I have. It's gonna be eternal until the coming of the Lord. Amen? Now, we're gonna have our communion. Are you excited? Take this in the spirit. <laughs> I want every one of you to fall in love with Jesus. Even as you partake this after this, those of you who are not speaking in tongues will speak in tongues. Amen? In your chairs, okay? I'd like Pastor Oli come here. Can you serve all the servants in this church? Hindi ko nasasabihin, oh, yung mga sikat dito sa simbahan. Hindi, yung mga servant dito sa simbahan na to. Maglingkod kayo. Lebriya ka sa tala labriya niya kayo. Kala labriya niya la labriya kayo. Kula labriya sa kayo. Karama na lalaman na niya. Kula labriya kayo la labriya sa kayo. Kula labriya kayo la labriya. Sabay-sabay tayo, wait for. You wait for my instructions. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Every one of you while you're sitting down, 
Gano man ang kadami na listahan ng kasalanan ninyo. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Talk to Him. You cannot see Him. But He can see you. He can hear you. The Spirit of the Lord is inside of you. The blood of Jesus it washes white as snow there's healing healing in the blood of Jesus imagine the blood cleansing you right now oh the blood of Jesus Oh, the blood of Jesus It washes white as Yung naguguluhan, yung nalilito, yun ang mong problema There's deliverance There's deliverance in the blood of Jesus Deliverance in the blood Of Jesus Deliverance in the blood Of Jesus It washes white as there's blessing, blessing in the blood. There's blessing in the blood of Jesus. There's blessing in the blood of Jesus. There's blessing in the blood of Jesus. Are doing communion wherever you are right now. Ang CDO, nagko-communion sila, every one of you. Wherever, Batangas, kung saan kayo, sumasabay kayo sa communion. You are with us in the Spirit, although you are not here. Maybe you're far away from the place. And you're taking a communion right now. The Spirit of the Lord. We are one. Tell this to Jesus. Jesus, salamat sa dugo mo. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the sacrifice. Thank you that you left heaven. Iniwan mo ang langit pumunta ka rito sa lupa para mamatay sa cross para lahat ng kasalanan ko lahat ng problema ko lahat ng sakit at karamdaman ko lahat ng mga nilagay ng kaaway sa akin lahat ng opresyon ko sa utak lahat ng takot ko ay mahugasan ng dugo mo, Jesus. Iligtas mo ang aking kaluluwa. Lord, tinatanggap ko ang kapatawaran ng dugo ng Mari at Panginoon ng Panginoon. Ang may hawak ng buong langit at lupa. Ang may hawak ng book of life. Lebrea, kaya na Lebrea. I just felt the anointing here right now. Yang tinatanggap ng Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I surrender my life. My past, my present, and my future. To the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus. Let your blood, the power of your blood, washes my heart, washes my mind, washes my body. Thank you, Jesus. I don't deserve it. But because of your love, you forgive me. I receive forgiveness right now. 
I receive forgiveness for all my sins. I receive forgiveness in my mind, in my heart. Jesus, I gave you my life. Jesus, I promise to serve you the rest of my life. Jesus, I'll do everything to please you of my life. You are my Lord. You are my Savior from now on. You are my healer. You are my protector. Your blood is upon me now. Thank you, Jesus, for your salvation in Jesus' name. Matthew 26, 26, 28. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread. I want you to take the bread and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it. This is my body. Close your eyes. Hindi na yan tinapay pag nasa spiritual realm kayo. That become the body of Jesus. Ibinigay niya ang kanyang katawan para saktan. Nilagyan ng corona ng tinik ang ulo niya. Tinanggal against his will ang lahat ng balbas niya. Pinako ang kamay niya. Parehong kamay. Pinako ang paa niya. Walang tigil ang sampal suntok. Yan to matatalim na bubog, sima, ang nailagay sa katawan niya habang binabasiba siya. They said it's 39 time lashes, pero hindi mo na mabibilang sa dami ng suntok, sa dami ng ginawang ah, sa kanyang katawan. Halos na ubus ang kanyang mga balat. At makikita mo na lang ang laman niya sa loob. Punong-punong ng dugo. Ang lahat ng yan para sa iyo. Ang lahat ng yan tiniis niya. Magkabali-bali ang buto niya. Mauhaw, magkutom for many, many days. Nakahubad, walang saplot. Lahat ng kahihiyan tinanggap niya para mawala ang kahihiyan mo. Lahat ng hindi mo kakayanin sa buhay mo, kinaya niya. Yan si Jesus. Hindi mo tinatanggap ang relihiyon. Yan ay totoo na Diyos na buhay na nagkatawang tao para sa iyo. Ang katawan niya, inalay niya para sa iyo. Kung hindi siya namatay, wala tayong kaligtasan. Hindi ka maliligtas. Kaya yung tinanggap mo sa bu buhay mo, sa puso mo, na si Jesus ay buhay sa buhay mo. Ang katawan niya, inalay na matay para sa iyo. Let's partake this para hindi mo malimutan sa kaloob-looban ng spirito mo, ng katawan ng Diyos, hari ng mga hari ay naging tao at namatay para sa iyo. Lord, bless this bread as His body. Reveal it to them in Jesus' name. Come on, sabay-sabay po tayong kainin. Nagkakadurog-durog yan sa bibig mo, sa ipin mo. Di mo lang alam, nagkakalasog-lasog ang mga laman ni Jesus sa cross. Mga buto niya sa paa. even died a broken heart. Yun ang huling ikinamatay niya para lahat ng broken heart mo. Lahat ng nangyari sa buhay mong masasakit. Lahat ng mahihirap. Lahat ng mga sinasabi ng tao sa iyo. Kaya mong patawarin. Dahil si Jesus ang nagdala sa cross ng lahat ng sakit at pait sa puso. Kaya kaya mong magpatawan. I want you to forgive people right now that did something against you. 
patawarin niyo ang lahat ng tao na nakasakit sa inyo. Nagsalita ng pangit, nagpersecute, nagpakita ng pangit, gumawa ng mali sa iyo. I want you to forgive them right now. While the blood of Jesus is fresh, flowing in this place. I give you time. I heard from somebody she has to forgive 92 people that hurt him. 92 people. A very honest, down to earth person, real. Wag isa, wag dalawa, wag tatlo. Lahat patatawarin. Gano mang kasama. Gano mang kasakit. Si Jesus, habang nasa cross, patuloy niyang sinasabi, patawarin mo sila, Ama, hindi nila alam ang kanilang ginagawa. Yun ang last maririnig mo. Paulit-ulit, patawarin mo sila, patawarin mo sila, patawarin mo sila. Jesus knows the power of forgiveness. Jesus knows that in the cross, the power of the blood of Jesus is effective. When you forgive, it goes in eternity. It echoes in eternity. I forgive, 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 forgive. And all demons cannot stand the power of forgiveness because that is what you call the cross. And the symbol is the blood. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave to them, saying, Drink ye of all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remissions of sin. Buksan nyo na yung grapes. Makikita nyo ito parang strawberry. Pero in the spirit, it will turn into blood. Uhugasan niya lahat. Nagpatawad kayo, uhugasan niya yung puso mo. Lahat ng sakit mo, the blood system will flow. All sickness, all sickness, all the infections, all the vaccines, bacteria, all the cells, all the curses flowing from the body, from the blood of your parents to your poor fathers. The blood of Jesus will erase all those things. Lord God, let this be so powerful, God, that the anointing shall flow upon the blood of Jesus, representing this cup in Jesus' name. Now, let's drink it together. Abang iniinom mo to, Ugasan niya ang lahat ng katawan mo, ang lahat ng puso mo, isip mo. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all stand up. Ramaniya kuso Lebrio kusa talalabakayo. This blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus flowing in their body, O oh God, Lord. Touches the very core of the tissues and cells, so oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, the bone, the marrow, the muscles, in the name of Jesus, the brain system, all forgetfulness will go, all dementia will leave you, all sickness and diseases will leave your body. The fire of the Holy Ghost flowing, the blood, the blood, the blood. Jesus, Gabriela, Casa, Tala, Lava, Kaya, Oya, Santa Maria, Gary, 
Jesus of the Jesus is flowing inside your bodies right now. Power of the blood of Jesus. Someone is being healed on your right foot right now. There's pain on your right foot. The Lord is healing you. I heard eye exploitation is like cataract. The Lord is healing your eyes right now in the name of Jesus. The power of the blood. Is cleansing, is moving. Back problems. There's so many back problems that God heals. Even in the mid sternum, sa gitna ng dibdib mo, na nananakit, naninikip, in the name of Jesus, God is loosening it right now. Angels, I see like angels, like riding somewhere. They're like that. Harama ko siya, tola labaraya. There's help, there's help. There's help. There's help coming. You're the end of your rope. Wala ka nang kapag-apag-asa when you watch this. You're the end of your rope. But in the name of Jesus, I saw that angel speeding. Coming to you. Comporting you. Bringing you hope. Someone here, you, you, you have a problem, both of your knees on the upper part. You felt the warm sensation on your leg right now in the name of Jesus. Someone here, lalaki, in the name of Jesus right now. Doon sa pinaka lower portion in the name of Jesus right now. Alabria, I, 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 it's a prostate in the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of the blood of Jesus. If you're watching right now, put your hand. 
Yala la priya kaya soko na mahaya la la priya kaya. Ola la priya kaya sata la la priya kaya la la makaya. Any parts of your body right now. Kora mama speak healing right now. Use your authority right now. La priya kaya the blood of Jesus is flowing. But you have to speak it out. Yala la priya kina mala la priya na yaka soto la 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 yo. Miracles are moving right now. Kila priya se kila la priya. If you bring a sick person here right now, this is so powerful. If you bring people na hindi nakakalakad ngayon, lalakad yun ngayong umaga. Rabba, you just don't know the power of the blood of Jesus in this communion. Some of you, you have a fear or tremor on your heart. The Lord is healing it right now in the name of Jesus. That blood. That blood flows. The pumping of the blood neutralizes the system of your heart right now. In the name of Jesus, I just see like it's open on my vision. Someone on your lower extremities. You're a woman. There's pain on your lower, lower, lower part of your body. Maybe it's an ovary or something, or your abdomen. In the name of Jesus. Kila priya na na mari may bukol or something in the name of Jesus. That tumor is gone, digitalized by the blood of Jesus. Lebriya kaso talo lebriya kila lebriya. Those of you right now, wherever you are, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, outside the Philippines, you're in U.S. or wherever you are right now, Europe. The Lord is touching you right now. You felt fire. You felt fire in your heart. Raise your hands. Jesus. Say, Jesus. I want to love you more and more. 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 On fire for you, Jesus. On fire for you, Jesus. I love you more and more. More and more. More and more. I love you more. I love you more. I love you. I love you, Jesus. Jesus. Say, Jesus. Oppression is leaving you right now. Oppression of the mind is leaving you right now. Some of you, you feel sweat coming out of you right now. I love you more and more, Jesus. 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 I love you more and more. I'm speaking live, live, live to your body, live to your mind, live to your family, live to your finances, live of the blood in Jesus' name. Anybody here? Pakicheck na yung katawan ninyo, yung utak nyo, and everything. Pag gumaang yan, may natanggal dyan. Check your body. Check your body. Check your body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody here healed by the Lord? Raise your hands. Praise God. Everybody got healed by the Lord. Come on, let's give a clap to Jesus. Labriyo po siya. Kala labriya. Kinamala labriya. Robo lariya. Seke la 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 ya. Glory to Jesus. Glory! Glory! Are you blessed? Daily, we apply the blood. Someone here, God healed you of your sinusitis problem in your nose right now. I don't know if it's here or in the video. Somewhere there's a pain here. There's a pain in your head. Somewhere here. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Flowing. Pain. I command you. Leave that head. Leave that nostril. Sinusitis be healed. Get out from their nose. The bread of life. On their lungs. Take a deep breath, people. Take a deep breath. Need to know that every day, the life of Jesus 
out all those toxins from your lungs out then take in the bread of life take in the bread of life the bread of God the bread of God Problems in your family. The breath of God flows. When you go home, there's going to be peace in your family. The peace of God shall reign upon your household. You're going to be bringing the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Him for the blood. Thank Him for His blood. The blood of the royal king. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Lebria na makasata la la labria kaya. Kola labria sekiridi la labria kusata la labria. Seke la labria kila labria sata la labria. Thank you, Jesus. You're blessed today. God has forgiven you. God has healed you. God blesses you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want God, the blood of Jesus. When you apply it over your finances, when I apply it over your business, when you apply it over your offering, your tithes, your first fruit, your giving, there will be so much power that you will never run out of supply. God's gonna bless you. There will be supernatural healing on your finances. There will be a supernatural movement and increase in your finances. If the blood is effective in the healing of your body, of your mind, God blood of Jesus is effective in healing your finances. Amen? I want you to write down on your offering envelope. Those of you who wants to give, there's a number, there's a bank screen. Write down if you're sending finances and you're offering your tithes, your first fruit so that we will know Who's giving? Lebria niya kasoto lolo bria niya kasata la la raya. Raba la raba shika la la bria kila la bria niya seka la la raya. Karaya la la bria shika la la bria kila la bria seka. Thank you Jesus. Moho la raba kasata. Thank you Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. You know, it's the priest who received the offering and offer it to the Lord. Your tithes, your offering, your purse fruit, your seed will rebuke every plans of the enemy against your finances. There will be protections on your businesses. There will be protections in your jobs. Hindi kayo matatanggal sa trabaho, mapopromote kayo. Yung business nyo, hindi matutuyo, lalong lalaki. Yung mga nag-aaral, magpapaaral kayo, makakatapos sila, grabe, with flying colors. There will be wisdom. You know, I remember Elon Musk at the age of 16, 17, he already have his own company. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pray for wisdom dito sa mga kabataan natin. 
na batang bata pa sila, you will have your own company. Amen? O kayong laro lang ng laro and everything. I want all our young people to grow, to mature. You will see all of those people na nasisave sa mga campuses nila ngayon. After this, get ready for all the video, the testimonies. While they're preparing for their giving, they can watch it. This Wednesday, we'll be going to Batangas. We're gonna have a healing uh, conference or crusade in Batangas. Amen? There is, some of you, we will be going to your life groups outside Imos. We'll be going to Das Marinas. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go to everywhere. Thank you, Lord. At ilalabas na po natin yung ating new creation pa, uh, series para po doon sa mga bagong save. Uh, by February, you will see it from 1 to level 1 to level 10. For those who are saved, called newly saved, newly created by God or something, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Are you excited to give? Close your eyes, you're giving to Jesus. Always remember Jesus because it's Jesus who's going to bless you. The blood of Jesus, when you apply it over your giving, your giving will expand. Your giving will extend. There will be multiplication. The Lord will multiply it. The blood is so powerful that the Poverty over your life. Lahat ng poverty na minana nyo, lahat ng kahirapan na minana nyo pa sa ninuno ninyo ay madidestroy, mawawasak, mapuputol sa panahon ninyo ngayon. In the name of Jesus, Lebria ka sotolo lebria. Your giving will be so prosperous para kayong nagtanim sa simbang ito ng tanim na pagtumubo siya at naging puno. Non-stop ang bunga. Rabba labria, sekela labria niya, kasoto labria. Oriya, raise your hands, raise all your envelopes, stand up, get ready. Let me pray for all your giving, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, Lord, we break and rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. Lord God, even those poverty na minana nila sa magulang nila, I destroy it right now. I bind the poverty spirit. I command it to live them right now. Labaka sotola labrayara na naya. Lahat ng anak ng Diyos, lahat ng spirit filled. Labrio ko sa tala labriya, kila labrayara na naya. The spirit of prosperity and blessings. The Goshen Spirit, God. The overflowing Spirit. The mighty prosperity is coming to this church. It's coming to this ecclesia in the name of Jesus. Labriaka, hands are blessed right now. Hands are blessed right now. Hands are prosperous right now. There's going to be wisdom. Wisdom in their job. Wisdom in promotion. Wisdom in their business and expand their business. Enlarge their businesses in the name of Jesus. Labria kaya la labria kaya la labria sataraya. Young people promoted on the top in the name of Jesus. Productivity shall come. Oh, this will be the most prosperous year in the lives of people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the blood of Jesus blowing from heaven, from this earth. From this church in the name of Jesus, right to their ATM account, right to their pocket account, right to their business account. Labriakaya, blessings, say blessings, blessings overflow, healing of all your poverty. You're healed, your bubble setting, you're healed now. In the name of Jesus, your check will come to pass again in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And then, when you give your offering, Covenant kayo sa Lord ng offering ninyo and you say, Go, grow, and glow. Go, utusan nyo yung offering and tithes and first fruit ninyo. Go, pagulong nyo, grow, and glow. Yung mga face nyo mag-glow. Come on, say it. Give your offering to Jesus.
Praise God. Andito na pala yung ano nila. Alright, stretch your hands. Come here, Pastor. Andito na ba yung ating tithes and offering? First fruit, everything. Nagayan niya ko. Sukulo na pala ko. Sukulo na pala ko. Sukulo na pala ko. Stretch out your hand and believe that this year miracles there will be lots of miracles coming of to your life. Provisions, miracles of provisions. Miracles of provision. The power. Everything will be possible. Even it is impossible. Expansion. You will be um, enlarged. There will be an enlarged. Someone will give you a land. Some of you will. There will be an expansion of your territories in the year, this year, 2023. May bibigay ng lupa sa kanila. Sa lupa, bahay, bahay, makakapagtapos ng anak, wisdom, at makakapagtapos kayo ng pag-aaral. Just believe Jesus Christ. Just believe the power of the blood of Jesus. Something will be happening your life, into, into your life. Just believe and get it. Kunin niyo po ito sa Panginoon. Walang imposible. Kahit ang miracles of healing, you will receive it because of the blood of Jesus. Everything because of the blood, because of the body of Jesus Christ, prosperity will shower you, unlimited blessings will be yours. Oh, Ramasi Kalalabasatere Kalabakareya. Oh, Ramasi Kalalabakareya. In Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus. Oh, Ramasi Kalalabasatere. Father of God, in Jesus' name, God. You are a great and mighty God. You are the creator of heaven and earth, to God. There's nothing impossible to you, God. Whatever is your covenant to your people, of God, I declare, oh God, that you will receive, oh God, an inheritance coming from you, oh God. That you will gonna bless them, multiply them, oh God, Lord. Everything, oh God, there will be a miracle, oh God, from left to the right. Miracles, God. Especially, oh God, to those who walk in faithfulness, oh God. Loving you more and more, God. Serving you more and more, God. There will be a coming more miracles to them, oh God. There will be more promotion, oh God. And I declare, God, Lord, the supernatural blessings of God. You will receive it, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Because of their giving, because of their sacrifices, oh God. Because they love you so much, oh God, Father God, in Jesus' name, release, oh God, from your heaven, Lord, a new blessings into the life of God. And whatever their hearts desire, oh God, it will come to them, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. There's no impossible, oh God, because your promise, oh God, you will get a fulfill it, oh God. In this year, 2023, oh God, Amen. save the family, save the loved ones in Jesus' name, oh God. Visit the loved ones in Jesus' name. Oh, Open the heaven and pour out blessings, God. They will be coming to your family. Blessings of their money. God will save your family in a supernatural way. Oh, Ramasi, Kalalabakaya. Thank you, Jesus, God. Oh, Rabbi, it will be an increase. There will be an increase of your businesses. There will be an increase of your wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi, there will be a new increase of your authority. In the name of Jesus, God. New authority will be coming to you. In Jesus' name. Oh, Rabbi, there will be a lot of restoration. Restoration from the left, from the right, God. There will be a lot of restoration. Restoration to your father. Believe everything God will restore it in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood that brings restoration, brings healing. Because of your blood, thank you for peace, joy, and love. Because of your blood, Lord. Lord, because of your blood, the blood of the real Jesus, God, the blood of the King, oh, Rabba, Kasikala, 
Salamat Panginoon sa iyo, God. Thank you. To God be the glory belongs to you, God. Thank you for your blood, God. Thank you, God, Jesus Lord. Jesus' name. Receive it all. Thank you, Jesus, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Everything, God, be all it, God, Lord. To you, Jesus, God. Thank you Amen. for your precious living blood. Amen. Thank you. Thank Lord, you. thank you. Release your blessings to every one of them as they go, God, Lord. Peace, joy be upon the book of God. At maging man sa nakikinig sa online, God, the Lord will continue to guide you. The Lord will send His angels before you and He will guide you and there will be an increase in your life. There will be an increase in Jesus' name. Oh, Amen. Let's watch thank this you, testimony. Thank you, Jesus, God, Lord. Thank you for a supernatural moment of your presence in the life of everyone. Maging mo sa online. Something will Testimony, be happening to you. I'll be the one of the youth or something. Nanjan? Nanjan? Okay, let's go. Let's watch it. May okay ba yun? Nakaon na yun? Everything? Hello. I told them to watch it. Ayan, so gusto ko, ano po siya pa sa mga picture pa lang, hindi pa po siya naitatapos. Gusto po namin mag-testify sa kabutihan po ng Lord sa Dr. Roserizal Elementary School, kung paano po ginagawa yung mga, yung, kung paano po kumikilos ang Lord sa mga bata na hindi nyo po siya pwedeng ismulin kasi po talagang grabe yung presence ng Lord sa bawat classroom. By next Sunday, malalaman nyo po kung ilan yung number ng lahat ng grade 4, 5, and 6 na tumanggap kay Jesus po. I every to see them here. Every Tuesday po. Where is that? Every Tuesday po, nandun po kami. Grabe kung paano po gamitin ng Lord yung mga kabataan. Simula po 5.30 a.m., nandun na po kami. Talagang pati po yung mga nanay, yung mga ayut ay nasa umaga. Tapos po yung mga nanay naman yung mga nasa hapon. Grabe kung paano po pinapalitan ng Diyos ng kagalakan yung ginagawa po dun sa mga kabataan na yun. Diyan na po ba? So meron po ko ibang mga kasamang team. Kirsty? Ayan, grabe po talaga yung ginagawa ng Lord doon. And personally din po, nabibless din po kami as teacher. Sabi ko nga, Lord, ano, um, kasi hindi po ako nagtatrabaho sa school. So sabi ko, and yun po yung pinapagawa ng Lord. First year college pa lang ako, alam ko hindi ako mag-work as a teacher. So sabi ko, Lord, grumadre na ako, anong gusto mong gawin ko? So yun po may mga pinapagawa sa akin ang Lord. Pero gusto ko talaga magturo. Tapos pagkatayo ko doon, pagka, pagkalagay ko ng visual aids, talagang nag nag-speak sa akin ang Lord na ito di ba yung gusto mo? Yung nagtuturo ka ng word of God sa mga kabataan and you're not working. Amen? Yet you are blessed. Amen? So talagang Amen. grabe talaga yung um, ginagawa oh, doon ng Lord. Na, mag-preach ka na. Madami po. <laughs> Mag-preach. Ayan. Mag- grabe po talaga yung mga kabataan doon. They are looking for love. Meron doon ano, meron ng mga girlfriend, may mga boyfriend na. Ilang talaga, taon? Ilang taon? Ano po mga Ano lang sila? Wala, 11 years old. Oh Bello. my God! Ganun lang po yun. Opo, tapos, meron doon mga naninigarilyo, umiinom ng alak. Tapos, 11 years old, my boyfriend. Opo, talagang Whoa. grabe talaga. And grabe yung ano yung, meron doon mga bata pa sila. Ministry time, simple lang po yung prayer namin. Nag, nagsasalita lang po kami doon for 30 minutes. Kailangan andun na lahat. Pati prayer lahat-lahat kasi may kasunod ng teacher. Yet, nag-move ang Lord. Meron po doon, nag ka nagsusumbungan yung mga bata. Teacher, teacher, naiyak siya. Ma'am Kay, Ma'am Kay, di ba? Tinuturo nila kasi hindi nila alam kung bakit naiyak yung mga classmates nila. And nararamdaman po nila yung presence ng Lord. Tapos nung bumalik po kami, they are so excited. Talagang di pa kami napasok. May teacher pa sila. Talagang gusto nila kami papasokin kasi po dahil sa presence ng Lord. So, 
itatay ko na din po tong opportunity na to na kung sino man po yung available every Tuesday morning or afternoon, kung kailan lang po kayo free, kahit one Amen. hour, two hour, Bring two that. hours will do. It can change the lives of many young Bring people po. They need, sabi ko nga po, alam mo, before high school kami pumapasok, sira na yung buhay ng mga kabataan, pinababa, pina-elementary na kami ng Lord before pa masira yung buhay nila para Amen. mabago, para ma-prevent yun. Kasi meron doon mga buntis na sa high school. Whoa. Amen? Kaya God is calling us po. Kung pwede po kayo, you can come, you can message Kuya Omni po and you are welcome po. Gagamitin po tayo ng Lord. Amen? Amen. Glory to God po. No, wala na yung Praise God. Gusto ko pong mag-take ng opportunity kasi po ang hinahawakan po namin 4, 5, 6. Tapos nung last Friday po, uh, binuksan na namin yung si Senior High po, uh, 11 and 12. At uh, sa Senior High po, nangangailangan po talaga kami kasi konti lang po kami last Friday nila Pastor Ken. So, uh, mag-open po siya ulit sa February. At uh, ito po yung gusto ko pong uh, i ano sa inyo i testify. Last an, last ano po last Monday po namamaga po yung kamay ko. Okay? Namamaga po yung kamay ko. Namumula siya tapos po uh, uh, tawag dito. Hindi ko siya magalaw. Sabi ko nga po kay Ma'am Letty that time nung Monday night siya kay Ate Ceci, mahirap pa yung nagli uh, yung kamay ko kaysa naglabor ako. Sabi ko ganon. Mas masakit pa siya kaysa sa nangan. Kasi hindi ko po talaga siya magalaw that time. Pero alam niyo po, ayun pala yung plano ng kaaway. Pero alam niyo po, uh, praise God, pinagpray po ko ni Pastora, may pinagaling ng Diyos. The next day, sabi ko, sa, sabi ko, hindi ako papayag na hindi pagagalingin ng Diyos yung kamay ko. So I praise God, kasi po pinagaling ng Lord yung kamay ko, naka, naka, nakagalaw na po siya. At kaya pala gustong gawin ng kaaway, kasi po, nung uh, unang, sa, uh, unang ano ko po, apat po kasing hawa ko na grade po, unang grade 4, tapos grade 5, pang third po grade 4, doon po ginamit na kasi iba-iba po yung move ng Lord eh. Pang, pangatlo ko po na tinuruan, doon po nag-move yung Lord sa grade 4. At alam niyo po ba na hindi ko talaga binalak pero it, alam ko the, the Holy Ghost is moving. Talaga pula sila tinash po ng Holy Spirit. And uh, uh, may narinig, may narinig pa nga ng mga ibang teachers na kasama ko na volunteer na, na nagtetestify mga bata sa Abangan niyo po yung mga testimony ng mga kabataan. Bring Papasok all po the kami. teachers will do healing there. At nagkaroon po ngayon ng seminar, Pastora, sa mga teach sa DepEd daw po, nagkaroon daw po ng seminar dahil meron daw pong Bible Week. So nag-atinan daw po yung mga teachers doon kasi naniniwala po yung mga, especially po yung principal po doon sa school, kung kailangan daw po ito ng mga isudyante, mas kailangan daw po ito ng mga teachers. And talaga po, kung makikita niyo po dyan, meron yun sa classroom po ni Kurt. Madaling pa po noon kasi madaling araw po siya po yung may kaun unahang klase, 6am po, 5.30am, nandun na po kami. Tapos may kita nyo po kung gano'ng ka-excited yung mga bata na makakinig po dun sa salita ng Diyos. At nakikita po ng mga teachers yung mga pagbabago, paunti-unti po yan. And sa mga susunod na Sunday, may kita nyo po, yung, maririnig nyo yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa mga bata na nasa elementary. At kahapon po, kakabukas lang po namin, babalik na po kami by February 24 dahil exam lang po. Pero kahapon po, nag-start na po kami sa mga senior high Uh, parang mga uh, first year college na po sila kung ituturing. Sobra pong nakaka-bless kasi po nung pagdating po namin doon sa senior high school, um, sila po yung mga batang tinuruan namin nung mga grade 7 tsaka grade 8 pa lang po sila. Sobrang dali pong ituro ng salita ng Diyos sa kanila kahapon because mata uh, matagal na po silang naturuan. At maririnig nyo na po yung testimony ngay ngayong umaga kay Pastor Ken. Kasama po namin siya kahapon na nakaka-bless kung paano po nag-share ang Lord, ah, nag-share si Kuya Ken sa mga kabataan. Kuya? Talaga pong sa laki po ni Kuya Ken, pero grabe po kabutihan ng Diyos kahapon. Um, I'm sobra, sobrang blessed po ako kasi dumaring rin po ako sa time na na-discourage ako kasi nung hindi ako natuloy doon sa lugar na yon Pero dinala ako ng Lord sa ibang lugar. And doon sa lugar na yon sa South Africa, maraming ganyan. Maraming nabago sa amin ng, ng mother ko. It's like, kahit madaling araw hindi ka makatulog, di mo maintindihan kung ano yung nangyayari sa'yo. 
Tapos may mga bagay ka na, na mga tao hindi na nakikita pero ikaw nakikita mo. And kaya pala may purpose talaga ang Lord. So, nung punta kami dito, yan, yung mga kabataan na yan, naalala ko yung word ng this is the year of thrones. Pagpasok namin doon, grabe, mararamdaman mo kagad yung presence ng Lord. Actually, ano yan eh, mahirap turuan. Mahirap turuan yung mga kabataan na yan kasi nga, titigas ang ulo. But, we bring the presence of God to this hopeless young people. We bring hope to them. And dinadala po natin yung pag-ibig ni Jesus dun sa mga taon na to, sa mga kabataan na to. And they are ready to come in. Pag-pray nyo yung lupa natin. Remember yung dream ni Pastora na there's a lot of young people that's gonna come to the church. This is the time. Grabe, mararamdaman mo yung presence ng Lord doon. Napaka-smooth lang. Eh lahat na to, tinanggap nila si Jesus. Lahat yan, nagtaasa ng kamay. Kahit yung pinaka-barumbado sa kanila. Sabi nga sa akin eh, Bro, ang galing mo. Sabi ko, men, kung di dahil sa Panginoon, wala na ako dito. It's not about me. It's all about Him. Tapos, kagabi, pagod na pagod na po ako. Galing pa po kasi ako ng konsyo. Kaila Tito Adan. Tito Adan, gagamitin na ng Lord sa trese, sa buong trese. Mag-open ka rin ng mga schools and start to train new leaders there. Pagtapos ko po sa konsyo, galing pa kami sa indang, din sa konsyo. Tapos, naisip ko na pumunta dito sa building. And then, sinabi sa akin ni Aldwin na, Kuya, may nakilala akong ano na, na tao dito sa coffee shop dito sa tapat ng Lasal. Doon pakita mo nga. Ito po yung babaeng yan, tsaka yung mother niya. Yung babaeng yan, yung batang yan, sikat na blogger, blogger yan, si Mamon TV. Hindi ko po alam yung buhay nila. Basta may pinakita, salita ng salita yung mama niya. Tapos pinakita lang sa akin ng Lord, very clear, kung ano yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. Sila mismo nagulat. Nandun si Aldwin. Sayang hindi na videohan. Exactly yung word of knowledge na lumabas sa bibig ko. Sabi nila, paano mo nalaman? Sabi ko, it's not me, I'm just a vessel. Kaya, they want to open a life group sa tapat ng Lasal. Doon mismo sa restaurant nila. And eto pa, kung walang life group, makikita nyo kapag yung mga tupa, walang life group, kung saan saan pupunta. Di wala nagagabay. Kaya kung saan na pun- sila napunta, kay, I'm not gonna mention names, but you know, all the religions. Kaya yung teaching, marami silang question. Kaya ituturo natin sa kanila yung basic ng consolidation. And, yung bago books, natin. Yeah, the, the new the one. The new creation. The new creation. And eto sila, kaya hindi lang sila nakapunta dito kasi may nag sa kanila. So unahin daw muna nila. And then next Sunday, eto yung nanay niya, may hawak pang Yossi. Sabi ko, okay lang po yan. Alam ko po yung pinagdadaanan ninyo. So she's not felt na kundema. Oh, bakit may Yossi ka? No. Hindi pa nga save eh. Di ba? Hindi pa nga save eh. Hindi pa nga masyadong alam yung Bible eh. So you need to bring love to them. Hindi ko alam, bigla na lang narinig ko in an audible voice na si Mommy, somebody, someone in your family, you've lost. Hindi ko sinabing namatay. Kasi mahirap pag sinabi mong somebody died, parang nakaka-discouragement lalo yun, di ba? Nung sinabi na lumabas sa bibig ko na somebody in your family members, you've lost pass away. Iyak nang iyak yung nanay. Tapos ito, for how many years na wala siya sa pagbablog niya? Because something happened to her. But sa, ang word ng Lord sa kanya, you know, somebody tried to accuse you. Nakatinginan sila ng nanay niya. 
lahat bulls ay glory to Jesus. So kung ako ginagamit na Lord, kayo din. Kasi pareho lang tayo ng, ng covering. Makikita nyo in the coming days, as you pray, doon ko nakita na as you pray hard, kahit hindi mo hingin, nandyan na. Kung humihingi ka man ng, ng finances, kahit di mo hingin, nandyan na sa kamay mo. Instantly. Kung humihingi ka ng partner, ng asawa, it shall come to you in the right season. Don't worry about things that is going on. I know you're watching. See you in the coming days. <laughs> Ano ko na, siyempre, you got to claim it eh. Faith without works is dead. Kaya, yeah. Okay, so God bless you. Glory to Jesus sa lahat. Uh, tinatawagan ko po si Nanay Helen. Gusto niya po magpasalamat sa Lord. Kasi po 10 years nang nawala yung anak niya. Tapos nung pinagpray po siya dito sa Shiloh, uh, nag nagkita na po sila from Japan. Sige po, Nanay Helen. Gandang tangali sa, sa inyo lahat. No? Napasalamat lang ako kay Lloyd dahil doon sa anak ko. Hindi ko akalain yung magka ano-ano pa kami. Wala kami komunikasyon sampung taon na. Linapit ko dito na yung picture niya ipapre ko. Pinagpre nila. Ngayon, may komunikasyon na kami. Pinadalhan na ako niya. Kaya, kaya ngayon, may Marami talaga, Mara, ano? Ma, ano talaga, hey, Lord. Oh, magaling talaga si Lord. Yun lang ang ano, ano ko rin. Okay. Salamat! Okay. Na kayo na kayo na bahay. Na kayo sa <laughs> Wala pa naman. <laughs> ah, lang. Nakalipat na kami. Ito yung tinitiraan namin na bahay. Ano, doon sa Burolmen. Kinalaban ako, pinag-anuhan ako, pinag-isahan ng mga kapitbahay ko. Kaya lumayas, pinalayas ako doon. Ngayon, awa ng Diyos, binigyan ako ng tirahan na namin. <laughs> Ganda <laughs> ng anuhan namin. Wala. Praise God. Dati po hindi maganda yung tirahan nila. Nung na-meet niya na po yung anak niya na pinag-pray po dito, na 10 years po hindi sila nagkita na sa Japan po yung anak, walang communication po. Ngayon po, uh, sinusuportahan na po siya ng anak niya, tapos po binigyan na po sila ng magandang uh, bahay po. So, pinag-pray lang po namin yun ng picture lang. <laughs> hindi mo namin kilala yung anak niya. So, praise God po kami po na atining. So, to God be the glory po. So, tinatawagan ko po si Maricar. Para magbigay ng pasasalamat Ayan sa Diyos. Car. Hello, good afternoon po. Uh, gusto ko lang po mag-give uh, glory sa Lord sa ginawa po sa akin. <clears throat> uh, sa mga nakakilala po sa akin, uh, since uh, nag-pregnancy po ako ng mga matitinding pinagdadaanan during pregnancy, naging complicated po na start po nung four months hanggang po lumabas si baby. And pinag din po ako ni Pastora May. Pati po si baby kasi, ano tawag nito? Parang, ano tawag? Um, kulang sa buwan. Ibig sabihin, gusto ng doktor na ilabas siya uh, five months pa lang. So, pinag po ni Pastora mayon na kinansel niya yung mga curses, yung lahat po para sa baby. Tapos, uh, nung lumabas naman siya, ano uh, uh, po, Uh, since pala nabuntis po ko, ang dami po, nagka-severe UTI, nagka-COVID pa ako that time, tapos nung lumabas si baby, nagka-amiba pa, parang sunod-sunod. Tapos yung, yung, ang tawag dito, yung, ang sa baby, newborn screening. Newborn screening naman ni baby, nagkaroon daw po siya ng hypothyroid. 
So, nasyak po ako sa result. Tapos yun, pinag-pray ko lang din po. Tapos nag-deal po ako sa Lord na between Lord and me lang po yun. Tapos yun, ang second na screening ng baby, thanks God po talaga, nag-clear po lahat ng... Clear po. As in, nagulat din po yung doktor na wala, po yung, wala na po yung mga hypothyroid din something. Tapos wow. ito po, uh, since uh, nabuntis po ako, hindi po ako nakapag-church talaga, online lang. And then, uh, nung nito lang, mga kailan ba yun? Yung start na po ng nag-church kami na, pa, pa, ano po si Pastora, di ba? Nung pagdating ni Pastora, nag-church po kami dito, pinag-pray po kaming mag-aasawa. Nag-declare po si Pastora noon ng promotion, territory, expansion, tsaka, ano ba yun? Restoration. Ayun. And thanks God po, Nang glory to God po talaga, may miracles po talaga na yung, yung husband ko po na-promote. Tapos yung sa bahay naman po, yung isa pa pong miracle po talaga is yung bahay po na never po namin in-expect na magkakaroon agad kami this year. Na even without nagpalabas po ng money, yung, yung may-ari po ng bahay, parang kinlow still agad po sa amin na binigay. Sabi niya, ano, anytime po na ibibigay na po yung susi ng bahay sa amin. Yan po. Oh. Glory to God. Yung salary, yung salary. Yung salary. Yung, sa- <laughs> yung salary po pala ni husband. Hindi naman po to brag, no? Pero Brandon. ano lang po ito sa glory po talaga ng Lord. Uh, yung husband ko po kasi, uh, kadet lang, binaba ulit siya ng kadet. So... Nung start po nang nag-declare po si Pastora ng promotion, na-promote po siya kasi lumipat siya ng ibang company. Naging times 10 po yung sahod talaga ng hasil. Yan po. Glory to God po talaga. Hindi na naintindihan yung times 10 eh. Hindi na naintindihan yung times 10 eh. From 400 to 4,000 plus! Grabe. Grabe ang promotion dito. Ang dami pong testimony. Hindi na lang namin pwedeng anuin dahil there's no more time. <laughs> We're gonna close it. Shiloh, maraming hinanda ang Panginoon sa buhay ninyo. As you believe, as you are faithful to God. Number one, faithfulness. Ayan na kami. God will do something greater sa buhay niyo. Amen? That's why always love the Lord. Love the Lord. Honor the Lord with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Because everything na impossibly ay gagawin niya ay para sa iyo. Amen? Amen? Lalo na sa panahon na ito, wala tayong piling aasahan at didipindihan ng buhay natin. Only God. We don't know our future, but God knows our future. The best future ay makukuha natin sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen? Because He loves us so much. Amen? Praise God. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Salamat, Panginoon. Sa pagkapala mo, Panginoon, sa buhay ng bawat sa'yo. Let them stand up. Let them stand up. And our benediction. Stand up. And our benediction. Come on, show it. Okay, declare it, Pastor. Where's Ken? I like Ken, the, you, the young generation. Ken. Declare it, declare it. Benediction for the new generation. Pag sinabi niya yung umpisa, sasabihin niyo sa ilalim. Declare our benediction. Ayan na na. Immortality. Death impossible. Immortality. Death impossible. Immortality. Death impossible. Divine health. Sickness impossible. Divine protection. Destruction impossible. Divine provision. Poverty impossible. Holy communion. 
COVID-19 impossible. Divine direction. Mistakes impossible. Divine direction. Mistakes impossible. Divine direction. Mistakes impossible. I declare supernatural blessings. Signs, Lord, as they depart this place, O God, the blood of Jesus Christ will be upon them, O God. The wisdom and knowledge of your word will go into be upon them, O God. Lord, the authority will be upon them as they go out. Blessings will follow them, O God, Lord, as they go we out in this place. We receive the authority in the name we of the authority in the name of Jesus. Your holy angels will guard and surround them wherever they will go and preach the gospel to nations, to every sea city Uraba Saparida to Salt Desires in Mindanao God Ibaraba Kashakaria and also you will gonna prepare the international O God and right now we claim the lot of God the lot of God the lot that you will gonna bring O God Lord Jesus this people O God Lord to your kingdom O God it is now O God Lord in our hands O God we declare that this day O God we will go with to step out, O God, Lord, to that land, O God, to that territory, O God, Lord, that you have us in the name of Jesus. But upon the blood of Jesus Christ, Rebi Shaka Parida, Eprabasa Parida, Eprabasha Parida, and they will go into sin in the supernatural, O God. You will go into open their eyesight, O God. Even at night, they will not go to sleep, O God. But you will going to remind them, O God, of your goodness, of your faithfulness, O God. You will go to enter into a new realm. Heaven shall be bound here on earth. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. We seal your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Only glory belongs to you. Our Master, our healer, deliverer, Come on, let's Jesus. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, The protection. The protection will be upon them as they go out in the place. The protection and the provision in the name of Jesus. They are gonna hear the great reports of God. From left to right, O God, Lord, in the coming days. Thank you, Lord. They are gonna walk into the spiritual realm where you will go to take them, O God. For you are going to take them to people. New people are coming here in this church. There will going to be a purity. There will going to be a light where they were going to walk in. They were going to walk the light. They were going to bring the light. They were going to be seeing open doors. Seeing great open doors. Great open doors. Great opportunities. It's going to come upon your way. It's going to come upon your business. It's going to come upon your town. Lord, bless them, O oh God, Lord, as they depart this place. Let your ministering angels, O oh God, guard them, O oh God, Lord. We thank you. We honor you. We bless your holy name today. To God be all the glory and the highest praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you.